Hey, what is up, YouTubers? My name is the AVC, the Avenging Crusader. We are back for some more Let's Play Europe Universe 3 as the Hansa, now Germany. We converted our government type last episode, so we are doing just fine uh, in terms of military and navy and getting rid of angry red splotches on our map. We did fight England last episode, or sorry, Great Britain. Force them to create Ireland, who is our new ally, but they have a bit of rebel problems, which kind of sucks for them. Uh, and we are about to go to war with Austria, because I don't like Austria, and we have a lot of cores there. So uh, we're going to take a bunch of cores from them. Zero infamy. Uh, I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. Lots of easy provinces. Lots of rich provinces, more importantly, that will uh, help us out, especially avoid uh, overextension, because we're kind of close we got rid of it when we formed Germany because we got lots of cores on all of our German region land. Uh, but we did just take a bunch of non-core provinces from England. So I would like to pref I would prefer to keep that from increasing because our revolt risk is still kind of bad. It's not as bad as it was two or three episodes ago, but it's still kind of bad. And we're losing all generals. I don't really care because we can get tons more. How about that? We already have one. You can get a new one. Six shock. I love it. You can go there. Just kidding. We're not invading Bohemia. We're invading Austria. And as soon as my navy gets here with my troops. Founding father. We kind of just have to deal with them. By the way, guys. 1776. 1776. The United States of America is going to try to form. We've got to be ready. Uh, we just got new troop type. The Royal Mortar is better than the Cohorn because it has better fire, better shock, and better morale. So it is better all around. So I will definitely take that. Yep, we're going to have Rebels. That is quite obvious, but uh, we can deal with it. All right, these guys are actually going to be on a ninja mission over here. To uh, take Anatolia. Corrupt governor? Yeah, we'll do that. Do I have military access? No. How about here? Yes. From Iraq? No. From Syria? Doesn't even matter. Because we can rock right past you. Here's my big damaging navy with a bunch of galleons in it, which are pretty outdated. But whatever. I'm going to position them to protect and encircle the Austrian Navy. Alright, all our troops are in position. Let's go ahead and get this started as soon as we get a diplomat. Derp. It's been all my diplomats. There is apparently a police siren somewhere around me. Don't know why. I live in a uh, I live in a suburban environment. So I don't know why there is a police car. I think it's a joke, actually. Give me one second. I'm going to go check this out, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. It is not, in fact, an arrest for me. I was not arrested. Actually, the uh, it was really cool. The police officers from my local police station were driving around in their, uh, in their squad car. They yeah, had their siren going, you know, once once every couple seconds, and then they said, everybody come on out and see Santa Claus, and they had Santa Claus driving around, he was meeting kids, giving high fives, letting them sit on his lap, and say what they wanted for Christmas, and uh, everybody got to see the squad car, it was a really cool thing that they got to, you know, goof around a bit, interact with some of the people that they'll get to see, and just, you know, spread some Christmas cheer, so that's really cool. Uh, but anyways, on the topic of Christmas cheer, there's 20... There's 19 days till December, and I think that is a perfect time to declare war on Austria, so we're going to wait. Looks like i got to get some troops in position anyways. And I might as well help out Iraq with their rebel problems while I'm waiting. Get some free med straight as well. Yep, there they are again. Come on out and see Santa Claus. Now I'm a bit busy, guys. 
Okay, go see Santa right now. Also, if you hear some, hear some weird. Oh damn! I miss Christmas. I miss Christmas, guys. It's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get this started. Reconquest for a lot of courts. Excuse me. Uh, Bohemia is different of the faith, but will not join them because they're at war. Switzerland and Ukraine don't really care about, except I do need to declare war on Switzerland at the same time, so I can use Reconquest on them. Thankfully, I do have another diplomat. Um, and this will actually get rid of our alliance with Baden, which is fantastic, because I did not want to have that. Or something. I thought it would. Apparently it doesn't. That was really odd. I thought for sure they would lose it, but they didn't. Alright, thankfully there's still a lot of level 2 forts around here. Easy, easy to take over. Here's my other navy. I'm going to send them up to blockade. Alright, you guys can invade on Antalya. And you can go to Madonna. And we will probably have this war over within a year. I'm not seeing this taking a long time. They do have a lot of troops. Uh, they have about 70,000, 80,000 troops. But we should be able to kill them, because they're at war with Bohemia as well. Meaning they are under strength and under staffed. And under powered and under privileged and every other under you can think of. Except for underwear, because that doesn't make sense. Why did I say that? I have no idea. We discovered a loot. Oh my goodness. Finally. Finally, finally, we can finish Alaska. Wow, that took a long time. Right, we were invading stuff. That's what we were doing. Excellent diplomacy. Let's get rid of three infamy. That sounds fantastic. Salzburg is ours. Croatia is ours. Yep, there they go. They're having so much fun right now. I would be too if I was in that police car. I'm just goofing around. We got peace with Bohemia. That's actually good, because I didn't want to have to take Ostmark from Bohemia. I think Ostmark is a core, is it? Yep, Ostmark is a core. Good. Uh, we need to invade some Swiss. Some Swiss butt. Let's go invade some Swiss. Seriously? Swiss have Ile de France. Are you kidding me right now? Goodness. That's preposterous. Alright, you guys are going to go that way. You guys are going to go invade. Uh, they have two level three forts and two level four forts, which means I need a second army. That kind of sucks. But whatever. Land morale up by 0.5. I like that quite a bit. We're about to get a new infantry type, I believe, in a couple levels. We get a new cavalry at 52 and at 53 apparently, which is weird. And then we get, at 55 we get new infantry. Sweet. Easy battle. Easy siege. Let's all go to Vien. And these guys will kill the army in Graz. There we go. Level 4 fort, but we have 3 armies so that should be easy. go. And I'm going to split these guys up. So that everybody's going there. Lucari. Interesting. Poitou is having a revolt. That was an easy fight. And once again, I'm tunnel visioning. Give me just a minute, guys. Alright guys, sorry for that. I had to disappear for a minute. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have more to record today. Don't really know how much I'm in this episode. So I'm going to do 15 more minutes. Can't hurt. Uh, if it's a little bit short or a little bit long, uh, you know, not a huge issue. Uh, because none of my episodes are ever the same length. <laughs> because I'm an idiot and I never managed to record them all at the same time. Uh, but whatever. You know, it all gets done in the end. 
managed to do 350 years so far. I think we do 50 more. Oh, finish that siege first. Get reinforcements. A siege. There you go. Now you're cooking with gas. Ostmark. Everybody has died, which is fantastic for me. Alright, so let's split these armies up. One, two, oh, one, two, three, and four can go back before I take ridiculous amounts of attrition. I'm already taking ridiculous amounts of attrition, but whatever. Gauge here? Probably not because we'll get a minus five because it's a hundred percent mountains. So let's not engage there. We'll be able to siege down Berlin. Or sorry, burn, not Berlin. Burn. Thirty thousand men tends to do that, or not, never mind. Thirty thousand men is not anywhere near enough. Or maybe I just need to let the siege take longer or something. Who knows? One siege of Freiburg, and we won the siege of Anatolia, which are both good. Oh, that's slightly aggravating. I have no infantry. Means no siege. Okay, good. Why don't you siege that real quick and then go? Good, good, good. How much are we at? We're at seventy-one percent. I need to get to at least eighty-five where they will give me what I want. In Switzerland, I need to pretty much have everything because all of their land is court except for Ile de France, and I'm willing to take four infamy for Ile de France. Because that's, uh, I don't know what the math is on that, but it's not very much infamy per territory. So I'm going to take Wallace. No, I'm not. I can't take Wallace. Never mind. I'm going to switch these armies out. Build Fort 6, cool. I don't think I'll ever need to, but I can. It's possible. I'll bring these guys over to assault that. And give me a threat. Alright, what are we at? We're at 77. I want to get to 85 because that's the point where they'll take pretty much any offer that I give them just to get peace. Which is the idea. Because they're not going to want to give up most of the land for free. We got lots of magistrates. St. Gallen, we won that fight, which is fantastic. We went to Zurich. We can also go to Zurich. And after we go to Zurich, we can bring all of our units to burn and take burn. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we lost our diplomat. Damn. I uh, should get a new one. Level 5. I wish he was level 6. Level 5 will do for now. I also need to invest a little bit in stability. Because I would prefer to be stable. Switzerland will give us stuff. I don't care. And we're close to 100% with these guys. We don't need 100%, but we're, we're close enough to the point. They are at 86. I'll take, uh, since these are level, we'll just capture them real quick. Give us a little bit more. And then I need to get these armies out of here. Yep, 
Yeah, 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 okay. There we go. So now that we're at 94%. And climbing. Alright, now we're, we're high enough. We can get what we want. Alright. I want my cores. Take, even though, I think we have a core on Vian, don't we? Not that. Yeah, we do, but we can't take it. And I want Garaz as well. Uh, we could take that for four infamy, but we're going to get a little bit of infamy from the Swedish anyways. Get rid of your cores on all of those things that I own and all my friends own. And you will need at least the nation of Bulgaria. How about Croatia? Croatia they would do, but I don't like the positioning of Croatia. They do Bosnia, which would be quite good. But I want someone here, and there really isn't anyone good there. Could do Moria. Ooh, we could do Moria, which for some reason is a core here, but that would block their land route across here. Yeah, let's do that. And you know, I kind of want to do Bulgaria as well. Let's see if we can't get that. I think we can. Yep, they would accept that as well. All right, so we got Bulgaria and Moria. So they're they're Austria's broken. They can't do anything now. Look at that. So that was a job well done. That's not our transport navy. Transport navy's here. All right, you guys. Are they both the same size? I think so. No, this one's smaller. All right, nineteen thousand guys can walk like normal people across the land, and the big army can get on the ships. Navies can go back to wherever they were. Uh, you get to march all the way back to Germany. So do you. So do you. And so do you. Alright, so we're still at war with Switzerland. Unfortunately, we're taking a lot of attrition here. So let's go ahead and end this war with the conquest of Wallace. And we can annex them for four infamy. I think, unless their war score cost is too high. It shouldn't be, though. We only have five territories. Nope, it is too high. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna take these three then. Yeah, their capital is just too expensive, war score wise. And you can get rid of your cores on everything I own. To get rid of nationalist rebels. And yeah, that'll work. So take four of me, get four provinces. And we can annex them for free whenever we feel like going to war. So that is quite good. Our war exhaustion is at 6, which is manageable. Uh, Great Britain being invaded by Scandinavia. Really? Alright, whatever. Uh, as soon as units get back, we're going to declare war on big old Bohemia. Take some of that land. Because I kind of want this border to look better. And it kind of looks like crap right now. That's why. Also, we get cores. Cores are good. Having fathers everywhere, I know. Wow, that took a long time. <laughs> I found a loot like at the start of that war, and by the time it was over, the colonists arrived. How long does that take? What is the time on that? 431 days, over a year. That is insane. Right, we got rebels in places. And I would really love it if Burgundy would freaking get peace with Baden, because they've been at war forever. If I go to war with Burgundy, would that fix it? Probably. Well, we could get Sungao from them, if we, but we'd have to go to war with Cesslorain, or with Rolorian, sorry. But they're allied with Baden, so that'd be, okay, that would work. We could do that. And we just have to wait for Truce to expire. I'm going to build level 1 forts in places with zero revolt risk, or less. Oops, I built one in place with two, but that's okay. I do need to get my level one force up, because I was just losing territory left and right. And civilities up, so let's do more military. I 
54, February, we get nothing, and then after that we get cavalry. Cool. Nope. Alright, so my goal, I don't think I've said this, but my goal is in 50 years, have all of uh, Eastern, or sorry, not Eastern, Western Europe conquered. And this does not include uh, the British Isles, because I don't think I have the infamy to do it. But I'm going to try and take all of this crap. That is the goal. Uh, so, you know, and if I can get free infamy territory from, you know, capturing, reconquering cores, then, you know, might as well go for that too. Uh, but the idea is to have all of this conquered. But the problem with that is that Castile has lots of colonies. So I'm either going to have to force them, I'm going to have to encircle their capital and force them to move their capital, or I'm going to have to take over every single one of their colonies. And if that happens, I don't think I'm going to make it if I stay under the infamy limit. I'm going to stay under the infamy limit as long as possible. I may break it. I probably won't. Probably won't have to. Uh, but, you know, you never know. It could happen. Alright, Milan. Revolutionary War. Provence and Castile. They're in Naples Sphere. Bohemians to defend of the faith. Alright, I have cost bill against Naples anyways. So, Fouat, Syria, and Bohemia. Alright, I can do that. Provence, Castile, don't really care. Provence, I have Revolutionary War against, so I could just go ahead and annex them now. They're allied with Parma which is here, which would be another two territories easy to annex. Alright, I get it, they're rebels. And last one is reconquest on you. Alright, so that's five wars declared with as many diplomats. And now I'm at war with a lot of people. Pretty much the rest of Europe. But uh, not that there's really any, you know, challenge in fighting Europe right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate these guys down. Send these guys in. Uh, this army can go straight to Lombardia. These four armies can split up. This way. And I will invade Bohemia also. I wonder if I should bother calling in my allies. They're not going to do that much. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, yeah, I'll take a, take a new dude. Speaking of which, do I have... Let's go level 1 for it. Do I have any... Do I have 100% cultural tradition? No. Okay, as soon as I get to 100, I'm going to try again for a level 6 diplomat. Because it's very important that I keep a level 6 diplomat at all times. Okay, apparently... Bohemia's army is just like kind of chilling. Oh, they, they don't have that much of an army. Wow. Alright, this could be quite easy. Savoy's going to be quite simple to capture because they don't have any good thingy majiggies. Uh, forts. Thingy majiggies. The professional terms you learn from watching me play this game. Northumberland. I'm at war with Scotland? Why? I don't want to be at war with Scotland. We were allies. Scotland, be my friend again. Okay, that's white piece. That means I don't have to deal with them. I don't really want to deal with them right now. That's just more attrition than I'd be taking. Um... Fighting in Ile de France against rebels. Siege in Liguria. Easy stuff. The problem is that I don't really have that many diplomats. <laughs> so I can't get peace very, very fast. Gonna have to wait. Alright, that's good. Liguria, we won. Yeah, that was easy. Um, how about you chill here? And this army can come help kill uh, Armagnac. How's that sound? I don't really want to fight Armagnac. Can we get peace? They're probably leading someone. Yeah. They're in the province war. So as soon as we get peace with Provence, we'll be able to get peace with them. And we won a naval fight I didn't even know we were having. 
and a couple of small other ones. Right. Navy's morale is very low, though. I'm going to bring these troops over, because morale will increase over time. I'm going to bring these troops over to Naples and invade some of their African positions. Like Libya. And we're losing territory to rebels. What do you know? I'm going to combine all three of these guys. There we go. Gilroy Rebels. Not caring. Almost to the point where I can ask these guys. Uh, do I have. I don't think I have any causes of building on Civil Way, so I won't bother annexing them. I do on Parma, though. Yep, Thomas is going to stay as long as he can last because he is very, very good at diplomacy. We inverted the heretics of Puerto Rico. Fantastic. Siege. Good. That means these guys can back off and go kill people here. Alright, Parma's done. I'm going to move these guys this way. Lost a battle and bury. And they are chasing me to Anju. But I should be able to save those guys. Should be the operative word. Oh, okay. One enable battle. Destroyed a lot of people. Good for me. Go back and heal. Good. I don't really want to lose this army. I think I'm going to, though. Unless I can let them make them retreat. Goodness, there's a lot of people dying. Both sides. Can I get military access? I don't have a diplomat. Oh, this is bad. That army's gonna die. Okay, I won that fight. I don't know how long these guys. Yeah, these guys broke. They're going to Morbian. I don't want to fight these guys with 12,000, so I'm just gonna back them off. Uh, I would love to get peace with them, but I really can't until I get Provence, because that's the only reason I'm in this war is to conquer Provence. Get the state, crap ton of money, I'll take it. I need a lot more diplomats. I really do. You can go ahead and do that. You can go this way. Yep, that's going to be a dead army. Where are they going? Oh, they're walking to friends. I couldn't see that for some reason. I thought they were going the other direction. We discovered Uganda. Coolio. This army is amazingly still alive. How? I have no idea, but they are. And I'm supporting with this guy. Okay. Romagna, easy kill. Same thing with Pisa. Battle of Chur, we won. And they are running to Brescia, so we'll go kill them. I want this war to be over, because we are getting lots of war exhaustion. Too much. So I'm going to take Ferens. And then we should be able to get peace with Naples at least. 
Oh, I haven't even checked on these guys. How are these guys? These guys are doing fine. That army isn't rebuilt yet. Alright. Steal in Milan. Milan. Can I ask you? I can. Alright. That's Milan out of the war. And I can probably get Castile out pretty soon. Um, so now I need to wait for another diplomat. I'm going to back these guys up so they're not taking attrition because I really don't need to hold on to this much territory anyways. I'm only taking it for war score. Need to back these dudes up. Yeah, that's not worth sieging. We have 21,000 guys there. I'm going to wait a month and then attack them. Well, that's great. You can totally tell that we conquered them because we're the same fucking color. Damn it. I'm glad that they're not huge because it would be a nightmare trying to conquer them if they were the same size they were. Uh before we broke them. We wouldn't know what was conquered and what wasn't, except by clicking on each individual territory. It'd be terrible. That's that army destroyed. Uh, let's go take Poitou back. Uh, and let's siege Avignon. Why not? I do now have two diplomats, which is fantastic. I got a core on Finisterre. And let's get peace with... Yep, Naples will be our next guy because they are the only important person in their war. They'll give us that. Get rid of cores on Gores. And how about you release Norway? You bastards. <laughs> yep, they're going to release Norway, and Norway is going to be alive and well in Iceland. We use Sicily. We can also do Sicily. Fantastic. And lots of money. Yeah, that looks good to me. Can't do anything else, because it's all too expensive. Alright, that's them done. And we have another diplomat. So let's do... Savoy. Total peace cost of their provinces is too great for me to annex. What kind of war did I start with them? Oh, sorry, that was a Parma war, that's why. Alright, annex Parma. There we go. And one more colonist to a loot should finish it off. Go away. Stupid peace officers, I'm not listening to you. Castile, I will listen to. Because I want a white peace with them. But if they don't offer white peace, I'm not giving it to them. Simple as that. I think I'm going to make Armagnac release somebody. Like France, for example. That'd be pretty funny. I think I originally made France or Burgundy or whoever was big over here release Armagnac. So it'll be a bit of their own medicine. Right, I'm going to take these territories and I'll just back off because I don't really need to conquer anymore. More, getting rid of war exhaustion is more important. And getting a little bit of extra war score. So these guys honestly don't even need to go. Same thing with you. Uh, I got more diplomats. Alright, Savoy. Uh, I could get peace with them. Get out of this war. Give me all your dough. Release Milan. Oh, that is classic. I just annexed Milan. I'm going to make them release it. Oh, that's just fantastic. You know what? We're going to force you to be Protestant also. Just to rub more salt in the wound. Of that taste. <laughs> and Milan is now a constitutional republic. What do you know? Oh, and these guys need to get out. Get back out of this. No, go that way. You go there, and you go there, and you can go chill in Gorse. Alright. That just looks great. Germany is looking fantastic. The map is now a nice shade of awesome. And these guys are still allies. And they will join our call to arms, which sucks. I want them to dishonor our call to arms. American Quest for Independence, 1754. Lose all my colonists. USA gains cores on a whole bunch of crap. I know. It's going to suck. I'll be honest with you. I never have controlled every single territory in America by this point. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Like, as, as this wears on. 
I don't know if they're going to like actually just instant rebel. Oh, hold up, what's this? Okay, we got Michigan's core good. Our attempt to assert rigid economic control over our colonies has met fierce resistance. Some colonists have brought forward a suggestion to restrict the amount of goods being imported from Germany and impose a ban on imported goods. We can restrict export, which means we lose 8% overseas income, 20% compete chance, and 20% um, merchant chance for 10 years, or fight a lot of rebels and get manpower modifier, man, manpower modifier uh, plus 30%. Which I don't know is if it's for Pimlico or not. But I'm just going to do this. Because we don't have the kind of military in the New World to deal with the others. Colonial Assembly. Oh boy. Many honored and influential representatives from several colonies afflicted by our leaders' new policies have assembled in Catawba. We should take appropriate measures to stop them before they find common cause and manage to turn all of our colonies against us. Lose stability and get 15% revolt risk for the end of the game in that one territory, not all of them, or we can lose 25% overseas income and 25% global tariffs for the rest of the game. I don't like either of those options. Tariffs make up about a fifth of our income, I would say. Um, yeah, we're just going to lose the stability. We can get stability back fairly fast. glitched a little bit, thought it was still on plus three, so it won't let me move Castile. No, that's not Castile. Castile. Once white piece, good. Armagnac. Uh, no, I have not yet annexed Provence. Let me annex Provence, and then I will take your white piece off of there. Alright. And is there anyone else I want to fight? Not really. Okay. So that's all that done, and now I just have to turn to Bohemia. Get all my cores back. Nope. Don't have that low revolt risk. I wish it was lower. But it'll go down as our uh, war exhaustion does, which should be... Should, wow, are we really have 50 attrition? 0.5 attrition or whatever? Yep, they're going to be separatists everywhere. It is what they do. They separatistic. They separate and stuff. I really hope that attrition is going to go down because that is ridiculous. I want. I need to find out where that is. And after I find out where it is and fix it, it is going to be time to go because I'm a little bit over time as usual. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, you are taking attrition. Can I? Oh, I don't have diplomat. God damn it. I should get one in next month. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Eh, you're taking attrition, but you're moving. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, you need to go back to the ship. All the rest are fine, seriously? Well, that's odd. Yep, we got a bunch of cores. Sweet. There's our military access, which means this should go down. Yep, 0.3. Let's get some roads. I like roads. Alright guys, it's been fun playing with you. We left off this episode at the same as we did two or three episodes back with rebels everywhere, but it's not too much of an issue because they will go down as soon as our war exhaustion does. So thanks for watching guys. I will catch you guys 
at a later time when I record some more Let's Play EU3 as Journey. Alright, bye.